welcome back guys. Today I'll be taking you through, which I've now actually completed, uh, the blacking out of the forks. So I've gone for a budget option just to start with, just to see if I can do it. So I'm using black vinyl wrap and I'm also using Gator. So both products bought on eBay. I'll put some links in the description as well, but both came to around 26 quid. So quite a nice little budget modification that you can do. Now going back to when I started messing around with the bike, just want to say, things like taking off the front wheel, things like taking off the forks is a brand new experience for me. I've simply followed a manual, I've downloaded it from a, a Facebook page, Sports to Sickness UK. There's also another Facebook page called Sports to Junkies. It's all on there guys, it's absolutely free. So download it so you can start doing stuff like this yourself. During the stripping and reassembling process of this modification, what I'll also do as well guys, is attach screenshots of the manual so you can see exactly the torque values that I'm using and all the key bits of information that are important to making sure that your bike is safe. So that's it. So let's get into this and start this modification. So as I mentioned in the intro guys, we are going to black out the front end of Fat G. And just to run through my materials, uh, I've got the fork gaiters here, just over 20 quid. And of course, the other thing that I've got as well, this is one of the final sheets that I cut out from last night. Put a little message on here, because it's actually harder than it looked. But that's what we'll be using today. And then I'll be doing the second piece of this the, the following day, so tomorrow then. So without further ado, let's do the disassemble. And as always, I've got, the Harley Davidson manual, but this time I've just got it on my Mac for ease of read. So let's do it. Okay, so first thing we want to do is just take off these two mounting bolts then. Just wait for it to hear the click. There we go. That's nice and loose. Let's get that off. Okay, so what I want to do is keep these bolts nice and safe. The other thing as well is that when this caliper moves, sorry, when this caliper comes away, I just want to place it somewhere that it's completely out of the way of everything else whilst I'm getting the front wheel off then. Okay, like that. Then be careful of the ABS. Move back like so. Well, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Just come across a little snag. Let's get this in real time. Because the size of my wheel, the caliper won't come away cleanly. So what I need to do, because otherwise I'm gonna end up knocking this wheel and damaging it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get that on film, but with a bit of jiggery pokery, um, I put this behind the caliper just to protect the wheel. And then I was just juggling, or not juggling, but just try, trying to maneuver it out and it came out. Obviously, um, the other thing just to point out guys, disconnected the ABS line um, from this cable so it didn't stretch it. Um, so now I will uh, just get it fastened somewhere securely. Okay, so I've decided to leave the caliper just on that stool there, nice and secure. No one's coming in here so that's not gonna move around. And then next thing we gotta do now is get that front fender off um, and then attack uh, the wheel then. So let's get into it. There we go. Just make this tight. Okay, nearly there. Take the bolts out. Store them nice and safely. And then that comes off. So, nice. Okay, so moving on to the wheel now, what we need to do is remove axle nuts, which is this part here, and then we've got to remove the flat washer, which is right behind it, and then on the other side, what we've got to do is loosen the pinch screw then. Cool, let's just get on with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna use is this bar, give me a bit of leverage uh, to get this Axle washer off then. Okay. There we go. Nice. And just pull that out. 
And I can just unravel this. There we go. First part done. Like so. Okay, nice and loose. So this is the fun part where I get to hit the axle out. Now, never done this before. So uh, let's see how this goes. Check that out. Whoop. And there is one axle. Bada boom. The thing I've got to do is put this on. Whoa. Like so, so I don't lose it. Move this forwards without breaking anything. Oh, first, let's make sure we don't stretch this ABS line. Bit of jiggery pokery, I expect. Yeah, there you go. Like so. Then front wheel comes out. There. Sweet. Okay, here we go. Start with the top. Like so. And there we go. Beautiful. Nice and gently place it down. Okay, so what I want to do is pull that out. Like so. It's going to have to come out all the way. There's my tool. There we go. Check that out. Right, now I've got this all out. And I'm looking at my bike and I'm thinking, flipping heck. <laughs> but no, it's fine, all good. So I'm gonna firstly see how this gator looks. Now what I said before, and I still stand by it, this really needs to come off, I think. Um, but I'm just gonna see what this looks like anyway, and then kind of go from there. So let's, let's do it. Oh, wait there. Oh, look at that. We might have some success here. That's brilliant. Brilliant. Thumbs up on that. Okay, so conscious that my GoPro didn't catch uh, the install of this part. So just wanted to do a quick explain as I was installing it. I just wanted to make sure that the top of the fork leg uh, that goes above the oak was just in line with this other fork leg, as you can see there. So it's pretty much looking really good. I'm really happy with that result. So all in all, so far, thumbs up. At some point this fork's gonna drop. There we go, and there's the drop. Nice and slowly. There we go. Same again, folks. So what I want to do is just measure just how much these forks uh, stick out of the clamp then. So it should be 0.5 inches, uh, which is just about here. So let's see, and again, just remember guys that I've mirrored uh, what was on before, so it should be okay. So if I look at it now, okay, I, I would say that's one inch. So really, in terms of it being stock, it should be lower to 0.5. But the one thing I am going to say is that this ride, in terms of having the Rick's wheels on and having the normal suspension, has rode really well. And now I've slammed it at the back. So I've gone down by about 0.7 um, inches. Means that at the front, I don't want to bring this from um, one down to 0.5 because in elevation terms my bike is going to sit slightly up not by much but by 0.5 so i'm just going to leave it as it is the key part to this is making sure that you've talked 
the right values in which, which it have. So overall, that's fine, happy with that. On to the next stage. Okay, let's tighten the axle bolt up. So put the torque value in, and let's just do it. Beautiful. So now we do the pinch bolt. Just wait for that click. There it is. So this is now 96 inch pounds worth of torque. Okay, done. 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 Come around here. That's done. There you go sorted. Now let's get the uh, caliper on. Yes! Success bitches! So now we know the fork is 16 centimeters by 16 centimeters. We need to do the challenging task of cutting it out. Now the first instrument you're going to have to purchase I'm sure most of you have one of these, but a good old fashioned Stanley knife, that'll make sure that you've got a clean cut. I want to advise using scissors because they're not as sharp. You're not going to get a, an accurate cut or therefore a finish for your fork. So have one of those. The other thing is a good old trusty ruler. Um, so I'll be using this today just to measure out the 16 centimeters by 16 and then obviously using the Stanley. Um, and the other thing, I'm just going to show you what I did uh, a couple of nights ago. So this is my second attempt of cutting the vinyl out. After this attempt, I tried to do um, the second fork, but it wasn't really going to plan. So this is all the vinyl that I've got left now, so I've got to get this right. I did have monstrous amounts before, and I used it all. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get on with it, and then we can start applying the vinyl to the top of the forks. So what I'm going to do is tackle one fork at a time. I'm going to use a basic wipe, it's a degreaser as well, which is great, just to make sure those forks are absolutely lovely. Um, super clean, just for the vinyl to then go on then. So let's get cracking with this. Oh, stinks. Okay, let's be honest, that's my first attempt. <sighs> okay, I've got about 0.5 of a centimeter there showing the chrome. Ah. We're gonna have to redo this, guys, without a shadow of a doubt. But for my first attempt, I'm not gonna cry. You know, that's, that's not too bad, but it ain't. But it's not going to be left like that, I don't think. Okay, so I've done what I could do. Firstly, I'm just chuffed that I've, I've taken the front wheel off, the forks off, gotten used to the bike. My confidence is just building at the moment. I'm absolutely loving it, just getting to know my bike. Secondly, it's not a massive deal in terms of the final wrap. I think it costs two and a half quid online and you get a ridiculous amount of sheets. 
So I'm just going to tackle that again. Like I said in, in the vlog, I don't want to give up. I don't want to just buy those fork covers yet. You know, the prices of those go from 70 quid and Roland Sands, they go up to 150. I think we can get a good enough result on this and I've seen it on other bikes. I'm confident I can do it. So to finish off, I've got some other exciting news for you. Now, if you've made it this far, I'm pretty impressed. But the exciting news is this. I'll be having another Sportster. That is my own Sportster bought by the Motor New Brider bank account in this garage that we'll be modifying. So that will be arriving hopefully next week and I'll be showing you guys exactly what I'll be doing with this build because with Fat G, I think I've taken it as far as I want to in this sense. So welcome to the next custom series. It's going to get fun. Let's get on with it. And as always, guys, have a great day. Catch you on the next side. Great new rider. Three, jump.